Developing news tonight, Alex Murdoch is facing a new lawsuit filed by his former law firm that still bears his name. The latest lawsuit is over Murdoch's mishandling of firm and they also say client money. They do. News 2's Riley Benson has filed this story from the beginning, joins us live in the studio. And Riley, certainly a lot to break down here. Hey, Carolyn and Brendan, Murdoch's former law firm, Peters, Murdoch, Parker, Elstroth, and Detrick Law Firm says Alec Murdoch filed false documents for several years to divert money from the law firm and clients to a fake bank account called Forge. Murdoch would then convert the monies for personal use. The suit claims Murdoch used the false documents to cover up diverting settlements and payments to a personal account where Murdoch would keep the money. The lawsuit is an effort to recover the missing funds and identify where they went. The law firm says money taken from clients has been returned, but the law firm has suffered damages. These developments come a day after attorneys representing the estate of Gloria Satterfield filed a motion to have the involved judge and attorneys testify under oath regarding the more than $4 million death settlement of former housekeeper Gloria Satterfield, who died at the Murdoch home. We want the, the attorneys, everybody involved, to come into court and have to go under oath and explain why every single procedure was violated in this case. The latest motion alleges Alec Murdoch and fellow lawyer Corey Fleming presented an agreed upon settlement to a judge. It was approved and to be filed. Eric Bland says it wasn't. And instead, Murdoch set up a fake bank account called Forge to collect more than $3 million from the death settlement. Forge was also used by Murdoch to divert money from his law firm. You know, this is simple. You know, it's there's wire fraud, there's bank fraud. There's mail fraud, there's conspiracy. On May 13, 2019, the day the settlement was approved, paying roughly $2.7 million to the estate of Gloria Satterfield, Fleming wrote a check to the bank account for $2.9 million, more than the approved amount. Months later, Fleming wrote another check for more than $100,000. We're looking, obviously, at the Murdoch firm. We're looking at the bank, Palmetto Bank, and also the bank on where these checks were deposited by Alex Murdoch's. Bland says checks issued and settlement money doesn't match up. Bland says checks issued and settlement money doesn't match up. Many questions remain, and he says he's determined to find the answer. My partner, Ronnie Richter, and I are, are not going to let up. You know, our foots are on people's throats. They deservedly uh, should have it, and they're going to have to answer for this. Now, Alec Murdoch is currently in an out-of-state rehab facility after being accused of hatching a separate insurance fraud plan that ended with a botched suicide attempt. He is tied to at least five active death investigations, including those of his wife and son, and faces several lawsuits. Reporting live in studio, Riley Benson, Count on Two.